Hi, Julie Jules Cruise Companion. Today I sit here on Carnival Luminosa in cabin 1289. And was it a good choice of a cabin for me for this cruise? Let's examine some of my thoughts. <music> So the advantage of this cabin 1289, it is in the center and it is low. So today the boat is moving quite a lot. There's a lot of white caps out there, but I am as stable as anything because I am low and in the center. The one advantage is it is close to both the elevator and the stairs. So all I have to do is go out and the vestibule is right there and I can go anywhere in the ship. From this point. The one interesting thing that I didn't consider because it is surrounded by cabins which is what you want when you are choosing a cabin but I am underneath the busiest deck in the boat and so on the second floor you have the casino, you have the arcade, you have the art auction and then you have the atrium bar. So I am quite literally under all of those. But from where my room is situated, I'm actually just on the side of the art auction, just a little underneath the arcade. So I'll just snip a little bit of the vision of the arcade so you, that you can hear how noisy that little space is 24 hours a day. <laughs> It does have a fairly consistent noise about it, um, but the other thing for this space is I chose it because next door there is a void, there's a double door, a crew entry only door, and I don't know whether it, where it leads to, I think it could be for when we yeah, I'm going to have to have a look at the external photo of the boat just to see if it's an external door, if we were docked somewhere that you can actually exit just next door. So there, there's a double door right next to me um, that has a void and the sign says crew only. So I have nothing on one side of me and I have cabins on the other side of me. The one disadvantage about being in the centre of the boat Absolutely everybody who comes down this lift well, if they're coming into this corridor, will pass me. Whether they're going forward or aft, they are still going to pass my door. So far, it's only been 24 hours and everybody's been quite good. Some kids were running, but they were excited yesterday being on the boat for the first time. So that wasn't too bad. Through the night, there were a couple of banging noises but um, that didn't seem to last forever. And I thought that once the casino opened, the casino didn't open till closer to 11 o'clock because we were later getting off from the pier um, for a whole lot, host of reasons yesterday. So I thought when the casino opened, it would be quite noisy, but there's quite a distance between my cabin and the casino. So there's probably like 30, 40 meters between my cabin's ceiling and the casino floor. So I didn't hear any of that. And it's probably about the same distance, probably about 40 or 50 meters to the atrium bar where there's live acoustic music every evening. And I haven't felt that um, that disturbed me at all. Would I choose to come into a center cabin with an ocean view, yeah, it's quite nice. Compared to some of the other cabins that I've had, those ones on four and five that were those corner cabins that were huge spaces, they were amazing. But you really have to fight to get one of those. That's such a great piece of real estate. Um, the one floor that I didn't really ever enjoy was eight and I had a balcony on eight, but it was directly at, underneath the smokers area 
and I had cigarette ash on my balcony all the time. It smelled like cigarette. I never really enjoyed it. Every time you opened your balcony door, you got a woof of cigarette smoke. So eight wasn't fun, even though it was a balcony. So the price of this cabin was really good. I'll do a separate video about the price of this cute little cabin, which is 1289 on Carnival Luminosa in March of 2024. Would I book it? Yeah, I would. This is Julie Jules Cruise Companion saying stay safe everybody and happy travels. Mm -hmm.